again, I don't know what happened, but I was late on the tree. I was trying not to be. Maybe I was just putting, I'm just thinking too hard about it. So I was 86. Um, he was red. When I was going from first to second, the, um, the car bogged down. Like it wasn't climbing in RPM to go to second. So I was literally watching it and I've never watched it that long. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna let it bog down anymore. So I pulled it in the second. So it kind of recovered and whatever. Um, so we're not really sure what happened with that. We're not sure if it was like fuel pressure or did you find an issue with anything? Honestly, it pumps fuel so fast. I think it's too, I mean, even at like four and a half PSI, whether the gauge is right or wrong, it just pumps whatever's in there too. Literally pump that out of the tank in 15 seconds, and that's a four and a half psi. I'm actually lowering it down. I'm, I'm doing a little experimenting. I'm lowering the fuel pressure way down. I don't know if it was enough fuel pressure to like when the car's wide open. It is flooding it. Well, Maybe it's flooding it. So the reason why that boot is on the front of the carburetor is if you know if the car launches. It could splash fuel, get it back in the carburetor, and kind of bog the car down. And an excessive fuel pressure could make that worse. So I don't know why we didn't have problems with it yesterday. I don't know if it is the problem, but uh, I don't know. We got lucky. I hate like it sucks that we keep making mistakes and winning. You know, we went around. It's basically just pure luck. It sucks. So uh, I'm gonna go through it. And Autumn said it's a fuel thing. It's not an electrical thing. No, it didn't cut off. Yeah, electrical things. They I just, know if they it would immediately kind of cut off a fuel problem. Typically, it's more of a uh, sluggish or it just won't kind of move, but it's still running. That's what this was. This was doing, and I noticed it because I literally looked at the tack, and I was watching the tack kind of struggle go up, and I've never ever seen this car do that, and I was like, and the tack in this car moves really, really quick in first fast. gear. Like really first fast. Second gear, it's moving like you almost can't even catch it hardly. So uh, that's how I knew when I was catching it, I was like something wrong, and I, like I was listening to it, and it just seemed kind of like sluggish. Penny wants out of the little gate we have for her, um, but yeah. So that's what happened first round. We got lucky. Um, I'm gonna he get my head out of my butt. Um, and hopefully the car gets its head out of its butt. Um, so that's what happened first round. I'm hoping for better results. Second round, um, I don't want the car to be messed up. It's not. It's not ideal. It's not ideal to race with a car that blubbers and bogs down. And and uh, so hopefully it'll be better second round um, and I will be better second round. So there's that.
I was super late, but I don't think I was killer. I don't know what, I don't know if he just showed me through or didn't get rid of enough or what. Tomorrow. 